In this podcast, we're going to look at how you calculate the percent, percent composition of water of hydrate. So one of the things to remember is what is a percent. So remember a percent is the part divided by the whole times 100. So if you look at this formula up here, this is the formula of an ionic compound. Um, here is the actual ionic compound here. It's copper to chloride, and trapped in between these ions are some water molecules. And what this formula means is that for every one formula unit of copper to chloride, there are two water molecules trapped in there. So we want to work out what percentage of the mass of this overall formula is taken up by water. And so that, the way you're going to do that is you're going to find the mass of water in one mole of the compound, and you're going to divide that by the overall mass of one mole of the compound and multiply it by 100. So first of all, what are hydrates? Well, hydrates or hydrated salts, uh, and a salt is another term for an ionic compound, they are salts that have water molecules trapped within the crystal. And so there's a couple of examples here. We just saw this copper two chloride that has two water molecules in it. Here's a cobalt um, two chloride that has six water molecules in it. So that's what a hydrated or salt or hydrate is. There are other salts that don't have water in them, and they are called anhydrous salts. Now, if you look at copper two chloride down here, uh, you can see two uh, images of it. Oh, sorry, cobalt two chloride. The first image over here, you can see it's a blue color. That's what it looks like when it is anhydrous, when there's no water trapped in its crystal. But if you leave it out, water will eventually be absorbed into the crystal structure and it actually changes color and so it becomes red. So quite often hydrates will have different colors depending on the amount of waters or whether, sorry not amount, but whether there is water trapped inside the crystal structure or not. So let's do a sample problem. So here it is up here, it says calculate the percent by mass of water in sodium decahydrate. So here is the formula and so the first thing we need to know is what is the molar mass of the entire compound and that includes the waters. So you can see there are two sodiums, uh, one copper, 20 hydrogens and 13 oxygens. And if we add up all of those molar masses and we can see we're getting them from the periodic table, the molar mass of the entire compound should come to 286.2 grams. So that's going to be the first step, is to find the molar mass of one mole. Well, that's what molar mass is, isn't it? So how much does one mole of the entire compound weigh? So the second step is to find the molar mass of the water that's in the compound. And you have to be a little careful here because there are 10 waters in this compound. And so we're going to uh, multiply the hydrogen by 20, because there are 20 hydrogen atoms, and we're going to multiply the oxygen by 10. And so that gives us a total mass. Hey, Slinky. How you doing? Slinky the cat is here watching us as we do this podcast. Um, and so that gives us a mass of 180.2 grams uh, in, of water in this compound. Okay, so let's recap. So in step one, we found the actual mass of the entire compound, which is up here. Then we found the molar mass of the water within the compound. So now we need to find the percent of water by mass in this entire compound. So here's a little formula that we're going to do. So remember, percent is the part divided by the whole times 100. So the part is the water, so we're going to put that on top. And we're going to divide that by the mass, molar mass of the entire molecule, and that comes out to 67.97% of this molecule by mass is water. So hopefully that uh, explains how you calculate the percent composition of water uh, for a hydrate.